there are pieces of you that I feel like fit exactly where it needs to be like in my life and just physically <laughs> <laughs> Holly Hendricks. My name is Lou. I am in a loving, beautiful relationship with Carly. Oh, it's been a month and a few days. I know a month is small, but actually it's been amazing. So what had happened was I was playing around on Instagram one day and I stumbled on this profile and I just thought, oh my God, this girl is gorgeous. And so my plan was to, you know, play the long game because I was like, this looks like a wife, man, you know, I need to take my time with it. So my plan was to comment on this and that, you know, for the next two months, you know, get rid of the guababa, build up the courage, you know. So I followed her and I was shocked she actually followed back. But, you know, then day one, my missions began and uh, she posted something, a picture of her face on her stories. And I just told her that she's so gorgeous that it is all inspiring. When she replied and I continued the conversation, I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think like, actually, I want to like pursue something with this person. It just happened. And when our conversations flowed and I could feel her like, energy just like bouncing off mine, even through the phone, I just knew that when we would meet up in person, things would actually like get like you know deeper than what they actually are. Conversation flowed, but I was just in disbelief the whole time and. I couldn't believe that uh, this amazing person, not only who's so beautiful on the outside, but so beautiful on the inside, is interested in me. We always feel like when you meet someone on social media, things would be completely different in person. But if you actually genuinely, you know, I don't want to say just manifest, but if you go in with a good heart and like an open heart and like not too many expectations, there could, fall, there could be a friendship that could form and hopefully to translate and go over to a relationship and that's what happened with Lou and I. Well, the friendship part didn't happen. We just happened to be together. We actually spoke for a few days, you know, still chatting on the phone. And um, by day three, we were dizzy. I think she said, I love you. And I was like, we haven't even met each other yet. <laughs> but I love you too, I love you too. <laughs> And um, then now we're starting to um, try to figure out uh, when and where can we see each other. And she got to my house and we just sat down and we didn't stop talking. We felt so comfortable right there, like just sitting in my room talking for hours. And that was our first date. We decided not to leave. We just spent that afternoon together and it turned into a beautiful night and a beautiful weekend. First kiss. Guys, yeah! <laughs> oh, Electrify! <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely, it was great. She kissed me, I was talking a lot. She actually said, I thought you were gonna kiss me like the moment I got you. And I'm like, no, you know, you need to feel it out, see what happens, you know, build that anticipation, you know, because you also don't want to misread the situation. So rather let it build up until like the moment where we can both feel like, I know, something's supposed to happen now. And then she was like, and she kissed me and I was like, shut It was amazing. It was just, the chemistry was there, the fire was there, no awkwardness, it just felt okay. Like it just felt right. After the first night, uh, when she stayed over in the morning, I asked her to be my girlfriend. I don't know if I asked her, if I told her <laughs> to get her version of the story, but in my head, that's how it goes, yeah. She has taught me that being loved is okay, that actually being open to love is okay. And she has taught me that 
you don't have to always you know be on a hundred because i'm the type of person i'm always like yeah when i when i go see you or when we go up whatever i'm always gonna have to be like in this they would say open so i felt like yeah i always have to be open and i expected her to be that way as well but she was like in a relationship one of us like if i'm not okay like i expect you to be strong for me and if you're not okay obviously you would expect me to be strong for you so she told me that love is patient like like genuinely love is very patient you just have to take it one day at a time you won't always have the answers and i feel like i've learned that so much from her in my previous relationships i realized that i compromise a lot of myself for the sake of making things move and making it work and the most amazing thing for me with Carly is how I don't feel like I need to do that. I am myself all the time and she not only accepts it but she loves it and she thinks it's the greatest thing ever. You know, I don't ever feel like I'm too much or too little. I feel like I'm just right as I am and it's great to be with someone who you don't feel the need to filter yourself around. Yeah, so for me that's that's the best thing. I would like to say that I, it's a bit personal, but I came out to my parents this week and I don't think I would have done it if I have never met someone as amazing as her. She literally makes me so happy and like I said, she basically taught me or like showed me what love really means in terms of a, like romantic re um, relationship. She basically embodies that. Um, with all its other things, you know. So, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad I gave it a chance. I'm glad I allowed whatever was supposed to happen happen. Um, you know, it's glad. What is one thing I do that turns you on? Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Just touching me, bro. Just yeah, just touching me, kissing my neck, <sighs> my boobs. <laughs> Definitely. There's way more. Just, it's just like one or two <laughs> things. Just, just one or two <laughs> things. But Shane, just touching me, just like yeah. If you could go back in time, what would you do differently in our relationship? Mm, 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 mm. And it's hard because I don't really do anything wrong, do I? <laughs> Come on. Maybe I would if I could go back in time. Maybe I would kiss you at the moment you walk through the Bruh, gate. That's exactly that's what I thought. Because it took us years. It was like two hours. Yeah, I guess whatever. Maybe I'd kiss her when she walked through the gate. Just to would have eased her mind a bit throughout our whole first real life interaction, I think. Yeah. Change the ball. <laughs> what is more important? Emotional attraction or sexual attraction? Yeah. I definitely think emotional attraction, because I feel like eventually there's going to be sexual attraction like if you find, like if someone is so like okay because emotional attraction can sometimes lead to like a bit of oh, like, oh, it was just like the smart so? thing the smart thing oh my God. the smart thing she feels like she's smarter than me i didn't say that <laughs> And not even, not even weaknesses, you know. But there's some things that like. By you, but you say I'm dumb. I didn't say you were dumb. I, know, no, I just kidding, said, I'm, you know. I'm it's alright. We're both say smart. That. I'm kidding. We really are both but smart. smart. <sighs> Frankly. <laughs> Frankly, in it, but emotional attraction is for me. I actually I agree because I think if the 
emotional attraction is there, then it's easier to have conversation and communicate about all the other things that might be shaky. Mm. And that's when... Did you have... Oof. Did you have faith in our relationship from the beginning? Hmm. I want to say yes. Oh. I want to say yes. Because... Dude... I, from the moment I started talking to you, I felt like, guys, this is a wife. Just ask me, like, ask Shelly. I was like, I'm not my wife! <laughs> That's it's me, your baby. I found my wife. So I think, yes, from day one, I was saying that, and I felt so silly saying it, but I really, I felt it. I feel the same way. What has been our greatest success as a couple? Being able to work through our individual issues that we had. Mm -hmm. So like I suck at communicating and you are able to like help me with that. And I feel like every time we get to that point where we are able to say like listen i don't think you're communicating properly or i don't whatever for me it feels like we're getting we're getting there we're getting to the point like actually we understand each other completely but obviously it takes time yeah to clarify what she's saying is that um no babe perfect finishing your answer small up by no 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 you did five months I think um, that we are able to acknowledge that both of us are still growing as individuals, you know, and to also be patient to, with each other and kind to one another and acknowledging the traumas we have and all the nonsense we've lived through individually and kind of in trying to make sure we don't bring that into the relationship or when it does show up, being able to talk through it. What is your favorite memory of us together? It might sound strange, but I said it to you this morning that we have a lot of fun together mm. and we can go out and we can hit clubs or whatever, but my favorite moments with you are like just lying in bed, cuddling. Sometimes we can be talking or sometimes like just existing in that comfortable silence. Same, same, literally. Mm. Was it love at first sight, or did you have to learn to love me? Um. <laughs> <Ta-da>! No. <laughs> <laughs> Even you want to know it. <laughs> no, I didn't think it was love at first sight, but at the same time, there are little things about you that I, I obviously, you know, there are little things about you that I'm just like. Ish. <laughs> that, I had to learn, that I had to learn to love but I'm just like ah, okay this is this person this is who she is so yeah but it was definitely love at first sight whoa guys if I had to tell you the way she oh, the way you looked on the first day I met you came to my house five oh <laughs> she I had, had this red dress oh she had this red dress on the girls were up and then it that was sitting perfectly. And she had a fine. She was just like this, like sultry goddess. Like, yay, guys, too many for the night. <laughs> so yeah, I was just yeah. What are three things you look forward to in our future? This question came at the perfect time. Three, three things you look forward to in right our future. Right now, it would definitely be moving in together. And like getting to see you every morning when I wake up and every day when I come home, those would be like the highlights of my day every single day. And did marrying you. Don't make me cry, child. And like the third one would definitely be having kids with oh, you. Yes. Yeah. Oh. That's I the top three things. Such an amazing mother. Definitely. Those would be my, my three for right now. In the near future, 
Jack. One. <laughs> <laughs> Just putting out there. Sorry. Yeah. So, dear Papa, you are the first thing in my life to feel right. Really right. Mm -hmm. Like it was predestined and written in the stars. It feels as though meeting you was the climax of my life story. The definitive moment that will create the most precious ripple effects in my life. You are my best friend and the first face I want to see every morning. To quote Michael Jackson, love never felt so good. <laughs> Being with you, holding you, gives me an unprecedented peace. I hope to spend my life striving to provide you with the same sheltering peace. I never ever want to lose you. I love you with all my heart. I love you, baby. Hi, my love. I'm so happy you're here. You look absolutely beautiful. If there's one thing I could tell you right now is that I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of how far you've come and I say this because hearing from yourself and others how much you've been through and even now going through I'm so proud of the person you are now you're so smart bro smarter than me <laughs> you're wise um, and you've taught me so many lessons in this past month that just made me believe in my own existence and myself the joy and the love and the happiness that you embody is so beautiful to see and the impact that you have on your family and friends is so great and I don't think you realize that and we're so happy that you're here I told you this a million times over and over but I would trade this love I would never trade this love for anything <laughs> and I choose you over and over again thank you for loving me and so greatly in the moments where I did not love myself thank you so much for being kind um, and I'm excited to do love with you. Your love, but life. Love, <laughs> love, love. I'm so, so excited to do life with you. And you mean absolutely everything to me. Thank you. I'm saying, oh, what's my own lips? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Can I put your lipstick on me now? Okay. <laughs> love you so much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching our episode of Defining Love. <laughs> you guys can find us on social media. I am at Fat Belly Lou. And I'm Carly Hendrix underscore. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can find our playlist in the description box. Uh, Carly also has her own YouTube channel. 